Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dictation a Day YouTube series. My name is Dr. Julia Alford. In this video, we are going to do a short and simple harmonic dictation in F major. So go grab yourself a piece of manuscript paper and a pencil and we'll jump right in. Okay, like I said, F major, there are eight chords. You'll wanna copy down what you see on the screen. So just give yourself a measure for each chord. No need for counting a rhythm or anything. And we start on Do in the bass way down here. Here is your key. Fantastic. Okay, good. So we will do two listings for the bass and three listings for the chords. So make sure you concentrate on the bass in these first two listings. If anything, get the first couple notes and get the last couple notes. Let's give it a go. If you need to at any time, pause the video and you can go to the description below to get extra listenings. There is a time code for each listening that you can click on that will bump you forward or back in the video. And also, please do pause after each listening so you can take the time to get your answers sorted out. Okay, so second listening for the bass. Okay, so now what you want to do is pause the video and go through each chord pitch by pitch in the bass and decide what chords can go with which notes and then come back and join us and we'll move on to the chords. Okay, good. Welcome back. Let's do three listenings for the chords. First listening. Second listening for the chords. Right. pause if you need to and we are going to go on to the last listening so if you're not at the point where you're checking your work you probably need more listings so go get them and come back and here is our last listening Okay, really good. So take a couple minutes, get yourself together, and let's look at the answer in three, two, one. Here you are. So we start on a major one chord, but then we have Re in the bass, which can be kind of tricky because there's a few different options. Here we have a diminished seven, six. And then to a one, six. And then back to Re for a five, six, four, or a passing six, four. So it's more of a major sound. So diminish seven six versus major passing six four. Of course, when they're back to back, it's easy to hear. <laughs> and then to a one, and then our predominant is just the major four. To a regular five, no seven. To a one. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me and please do hit the subscribe button. I post a new video five days a week for all of the weeks of the year for the foreseeable future. And please do also visit my website, auraltheory.com, where you can find out 
all kinds of things about oral theory and getting some help if you need it. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye.